to show you that this conference is not just the fourth national conference. This is an international conference. And with me, to prove just how international it is, is Arnold Hedgekamp. Hazekamp <laughs> from the Netherlands and and Netherlands and, and Leiden University. Is that, what do you, what's your association with uh, Leiden University? I'm uh, doing my PhD there. I'm almost finished, and I hope to find uh, another position that makes me continue uh, the work I'm doing now on medicinal cannabis. Is your PhD on medicinal cannabis? Yeah. What I'm trying to find out is, is what makes medicinal cannabis medicinal cannabis. So... Um, what I'm trying to do actually is to find out what defines cannabis. What are the chemicals that are present inside? How can you use them? How can you get them out? Is there differences in different ways of using, smoking, vaporizing, making tea? Because it seems that many people are trying to, to use it, to try it out on people, but many people don't seem to realize that it's a very complex collection of, of chemicals that are there. It's an enormously complex. What, what's uh, your field? My field is uh, actually something that's uh, called pharmacognosy. It's a very difficult word, but it's nothing more than pharmacy based on plants. So we are researching medicinal plants. Wow, and of course, uh, cannabis is one of the uh, most ancient of medicinal plants. You know, when we think of the Netherlands, of course, you know, we think of a very progressive, uh, liberal, tolerant society, and of course, we always think of the the cannabis cafes there, How, coffee, shops. coffee shops, right? The cannabis coffee shops. Um, how does that does that make your research easier because you it's there's like a more open attitude towards uh, cannabis it doesn't only make it easier it makes it possible because no country in the world is allowed to do cannabis research if they have not provided for a uh, national office to take care of these things and there's only three countries in the world that have such an office that's the United States Canada and the Netherlands um, but four years ago our Minister of Health, uh, she decided that there was enough reason to take uh, medicinal cannabis use for serious. Uh, these coffee shops were around, so people were going there anyway because they had a, a free choice to, to pick up cannabis there and to try it for anything they liked. And she said, you know, isn't it strange that we're providing people with the opportunity to use medicinal cannabis, but we don't know anything about the safety of the product? You know, you just go out there, it might be polluted with heavy metals, pesticides. Uh, microbes, so why not set up a program that can provide them with safe medicinal cannabis? So that's why she started this whole program that ended up in the foundation of the Bureau for Medicinal Cannabis. So the Netherlands is going to be providing medicine, me medicinal marijuana to patients in the Netherlands? They are already doing that. Really? Since two and a half to three years now, um, uh, there's a state grower. There used to be two, but now it's only one. Uh, and they are providing cannabis to pharmacies. Patients with certain conditions, they can go to their uh, general practitioner, and if they get a prescription, uh, they can go to any pharmacy in the Netherlands and pick up their little plastic canister with five grams of state-grown cannabis. Now, since the Netherlands has universal health care, does that mean the government provides them their 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 medicinal marijuana as part of as like a regular medicine? Uh, well, it's still the law of economics that govern everything. So uh, when it was introduced, it was hoped. Um, that it would be reimbursed by health insurances, but it's not something that the state can force. So there was an open discussion about that, and in the end, the health insurances, they um, decided it was not the right time yet to decide that this was a real medicine. It's still under investigation, and it is a kind of a rough time in the Netherlands because the costs of health care are rising a lot, and our health care system has changed a lot, also the, the insurances. So this is not the right time I don't know, it seems like it might be the right time because, you know, a lot of you studies you've seen here, people who use cannabis use far fewer of the other uh, medicines, which cost way more than it would cost for the government to produce cannabis. So actually, if they would allow people to use cannabis, it would cut the cost down. That's true. It's true. And we have a little bit of a problem in the Netherlands now because the price in the coffee shop is actually lower than in the pharmacy for an obvious reason. <laughs> If you don't pay for your electricity, you don't pay tax, then of course you can make a cheaper product. But for Dutch people, it's, you know, the coffee shop have been around for so long that they kind of trust enough uh, the quality that's present uh, in the coffee shop. So, and it's hard to, to compete with that. So we're now finding ways to, by improving our product, making new forms of the product, like making a, uh, a prepared form of cannabis that is very suitable for making tea, for example, and still negotiating with... Uh, 
with authorities for you know uh, maybe sponsoring the program or but it, it's kind of difficult finally you just always end up with uh, discussing with some some influential people at high levels and it's all about opinions so it's it's a continuous discussion it shows that even in a rational sensible country like the Netherlands this this issue gets so wrapped up in so many emotional things that people just don't seem to be able to deal with it on a rational basis that's true but on the other hand you should also see what has been done so far and we're the only country now providing state grown cannabis of a very high quality that's been already uh, stable in its composition and it's it's the same strength now for almost three years so it's a great product it's uh, I'm convinced it's the best cannabis you can find in the whole world could be and you know it's, in the Netherlands is kind of like Mecca for a lot of uh, marijuana people so uh, I certainly want to go there sometime tell me you've come here you come to this conference halfway across the world uh, what's your take on the conference uh, I love it here Arnold thank you very much for joining us here on marijuana compassion and common sense